Hi, welcome again. So in this lesson, let us learn about three triggers that will lead us to do maintenance testing. So let us understand what are those three triggers or at what type of events when they occur, we must perform maintenance testing. As I told you, testing performed during the maintenance life cycle of software that is called maintenance testing. And what triggers the maintenance testing to be performed? Those are called triggers. And those three triggers are modifications, migrations and retirements. So let us talk about each one of them. So modification, whenever the software that is in the maintenance phase, whenever it gets modified, that might trigger us to do maintenance testing. Again, as we told, as part of maintenance testing, we perform retesting and regression testing. So modifications can happen to the software or the software's environment. The software itself might undergo a change because some enhancements are done to the software or sometimes bug fixes are done as unplanned changes or changes to the environment. The database new version has arrived or operating system on which this software is working a new version has arrived. All these are potential modifications that can occur while the software is in its maintenance cycle and that will lead us to do maintenance testing. So modifications is one trigger. The second trigger is migrations. So the software that is under maintenance, now it has to be moved to another environment. Meaning, let's say we are on a Windows server. Now we decided to move it to Linux environment or a brand new Microsoft's environment. So we are moving it. That is called migration from one environment to another environment. The software is, is being moved from its operating environment, one environment, the current environment to another environment. Sometimes upgrades to the operating system. I am not changing my operating system, but operating system, the Microsoft has released another newest version, high performance version. So I, as a company, decided to move to that. So my software will have to work in the new operating system version now. Or sometimes the external events also can lead to migrations. Government regulations have changed and because of that a new kind of uh, like for example RBI announced a new uh, regulation all the financial systems have to follow that regulation. Then that is a conversion or that is a, a migration that has to happen. The third trigger is actually when the event of retirement happens to the software also, we may do a lot of maintenance testing. What do you mean by retirement? The software served its purpose and now because it served its purpose and a lot of things have changed and I want to in its place build a, put a new software, then we are sunsetting or retiring the current software. So we in its place will put new software. And that also can trigger maintenance testing. So let's say a claim processing system of an insurance, which is running on a mainframe technology. It served for last 30, 40 years. Now the insurance company decided to go for new technologies and build not on a mainframe, but an existing web technology. So they built it. Now they want to retire this mainframe application with the new Java application. So that also will trigger a lot of maintenance testing. What is the issue here? Whatever the 30 years, the mainframe application, it's in production. A lot of real customers, real transactions, real databases have been created. Now, because I am moving or removing the old system and putting new system, I cannot lose all my current data with my current customers. That is where data conversion, data retention issues will come and that type of testing will have to do during the retirement phase. So the three triggers are modifications, migrations and retirements. So let us check our understanding how well we understood these three triggers. So on the left side, the triggers are there. Migrations, retirements, modification. 
on the right side i have some small situation so move the right trigger to the right right hand side so the first one is what the operating system that has supported the software is changing to a new version so what does it what is its trigger so the software is running on a particular operating system and the company which is developed operating system released a new version so will it trigger maintenance testing or not yes it will trigger but what is this trigger that is modification modification is happening to the environment of the software the second situation is an insurance company plans to replace the claim system with a completely new system as i gave you the example the previous system is a mainframe legacy system now newer technology has come so i want to retire the first one and move to the the latest one so what are we talking about which trigger we are talking about we are talking about retirements then the third one is the software you are supporting is moving to new hardware with a new operating system okay so now the software that is working on a particular hardware in an operating system totally brand new hardware and brand new operating system it's migrating so what is the trigger we are talking here? we are talking about migrations so hope you have understood these three triggers that will lead to maintenance testing modifications migrations and retirements so if you have any questions please post them in the discussion forum i'll answer you and before that let us quickly do a knowledge check on our understanding about maintenance testing so these are the typical questions you get in your istkb exam which of the following are triggers for maintenance testing there are 1 2 3 4 5 they are not answers there are potential answers so always when you write istkb don't jump to conclusion look at read the question from start to end very carefully and assess and do the right answer so here there are five statements about maintenance testing and triggers now which are right triggers which are not that's what you have to tell one the period of time since last regression testing a system that is nothing related to triggers the period of time since last regression testing of a system so one cannot be in the answer so in istkb when you write not only you read from start to end of the question and also don't jump to conclusion you can apply what we call a principle of exclusion if you know one uh, thing that is not there in the should not be there in the answer then you can use exclusion principle so one is nothing related to triggers that we talked so one cannot be in the answer so a can be excluded but unfortunately still b c d can be potential answer so read the second point new operating system installation is it a trigger or not yes two has to be in the answer but again two is there in all three options three changes in corporate policies and government regulations can lead to modifications or can lead to migrations of software that is a trigger so three has to be there in the answer but unfortunately b c d has three so we can't really answer right away four converting a legacy system to a software package yes this is also a trigger because it is we are retiring a legacy system in its place building a new software so four has to be in the answer so 2 3 4 c is there but b also has so c can be d can be excluded at this moment but let us read the fifth statement also developing a new software application developing a new software application doesn't come under maintenance testing it is a new application testing so five cannot be there in the answer so what is the right answer right answer is c 2 3 and 4 are the right about triggers related to maintenance testing so hope you have enjoyed this lesson learn and have fun